acute kidney injury is an important area of concern within healthcare systems right across the world. About one in five of people who are admitted to hospital as an emergency will have acute kidney injury. It may be that they arrive with it, it may be they get it when they're in hospital. The National Health Service actually has a chance to lead the world in how to deal with the issue. So acute kidney injury is where the kidneys, over a short period of time, hours or days, do not function as they should do. It's common and it's harmful, but it has the potential to be remedial. Most people associate injury with trauma. It might be a knife or it might be some sort of blunt event that damages something. But think of it more in the context of a heart attack, only this is a kidney attack, where on a microscopic level, the function of the kidney is disturbed. And that means that you can't regulate the salt and water in your body effectively and toxins can accumulate. Many years ago, I was involved in the care of an individual who was a young man. He came in with tummy pain and he was diagnosed as having appendicitis. So he had his appendix removed. And in the post-operative phase, as he was getting better, for five days in a row, he told the nurses, I'm not passing any urine. And the nurses just said, drink more. And he drank more. And eventually at about day five, he was discharged from hospital. About three days later, he was admitted in a very poor state indeed. He was moribund. And what had not been picked up on the ward when he was in was that in fact the anaesthetic process and the surgery had been rather more extensive than they thought. He'd been given some medications and the combination of those had turned his kidneys off. And he went home with unrecognised acute kidney injury. And it nearly cost him his life. So it has an effect upon the individual, it has an effect upon their family and their friends, and it has an effect upon the NHS because it uses more resources and it costs more money to deal with someone. So the programme has an ambitious uh, plan to improve outcomes for patients. And that essentially is we want to reduce avoidable harm to minimal levels. We want to reduce mortality associated with acute kidney injury, and we want to improve the recovery of people when they have an episode of acute kidney injury. The programme will save lives because we will improve the detection and the treatment of acute kidney injury. We know from the NCPOD recommendations that care is suboptimal in 50% of cases. By reducing that to a minimum and trying to eliminate it, care will improve and outcomes will improve. I envisage an NHS where acute kidney injury is in the consciousness of the public, patients and professionals.